Hello everyone, so we have a new large language model, LLM, for coding recently launched called StarCoder 2. Now, StarCoder 2 has three sizes of language models, which are 15B, 7B, and 3B, based on their dataset called Stack V2. They had the V1 previously, and now the V2 has a more extensive dataset included and more parameters. And right now we are going to uh, test the 15B StarCoder 2 later on in these videos. Now StarCoder 2 15B has a tremendous knowledge base of programming languages. It has been trained on over 600 programming languages using the Stack V2 dataset with the output of results. It can generate over 16,000 tokens with a side window attention of approximately 4,000 tokens. And it was trained using the fill in the middle objective on four plus trillion tokens. So this is a really big large language model and it is specifically designed for programming languages. What they did is train this model using the stack dataset, which was created by crawling and collecting programming code from github.com, similar to a web search crawler. They crawled all the programming language code and then used that data to train this large language model. So this is going to be really large. Imagine putting all the open source code from github.com into a model and training it on that. This is a really huge undertaking. However, even though this is a very large model, that doesn't necessarily mean that it can be really good at logic and expert level programming. Don't expect miracles from a large language model, especially for open source models at this moment. Let's be honest, I'm not going to overhype this. As you can see, the 7 billion and 3 billion parameter models were trained on 17 programming languages. But let's be realistic. I would not overhype and say things like, oh, this can do very expert programming language coding, or you can just give it a text prompt and it can complete creating mobile apps hands-off using this large language model. No, I don't think that's the truth. But the no-code concept is coming. But we just need more mature times, and large language models need to be trained with more advanced and better transformer coding. And maybe even later on, as I mentioned in previous videos, other architectures rather than transformers like Mamba or even if they have something new in transformer to do better things. And that will be possible to have one text prompt and hands off to create and complete mobile apps completely. So right now, just don't expect that it can be an assistance for you to do coding. And in this chat, as you can see, the StarCoder 15 billion parameters model just surpasses the other models as they are showing the text result. And then the Stack V2 obviously has a lot more data set compared with their version one because the V2, they got a 67 T byte size of data set. So in here, in these videos, I will use po.com as they have the Stack V2 15 billion parameters model installed in here and such a large model, large file size, and a very huge use of really advanced hardware to load these large types of models. And I don't think usually people can install and run this on a local computer, but there's good that we have a chance using PoE. And as you see, PoE has a lot of large language models integrated already. You see Olama, Mistral, and even Cladude 3, Let's try this on PoE. So first, we are going to try the hard level coding challenge in here. So StarCoder 2, let's see if they can finish some hard level challenges. And this is a Python coding challenge. So they just generate the functions and we go to this code tab and paste that and check the result if that's passed or not. Now, some pass, but the return value is failed because they have used other variables in these functions. So it returns true and it should be false in the end. So some logic is not really complete, right? But it is workable. So let's try this one, another one with write a function with a group of strings. So these functions are handling strings. So let's check it out. We paste that function on here and we go to check. So all pass for this one is pretty good. 
And lastly, let's check this one. It is another similar character handling functions. So let's copy this one. And we can go check with the code. So this one got an error. It doesn't have that functions calling so very hard. Actually, we were testing a very hard level one more. I want to try their regular expression because this is really practical stuff that we use in programming. And let's see if they did something workable for regular expressions. And here they got the explanation of the A and B and all these characters. And let's copy this and test. So this got an error. The mismatch is not defined. Okay. The large language model has not defined the variables but it assumes that we should define this as match variables or the functions at the beginning of what this larger language model generates the code for. So the model assumes I have this. So the last test is not completed. It's just giving me a finished message. So I think this is a very large size in terms of code tokens and all this parameter size and the data set is large for this model. But honestly, it's not uh, really performing well. I did test the coding challenges using Mistral in previous videos. And other language models did perform better. They even got passed in the expertise level in some test challenges. So yeah, guys, just try out if that works for you for this large language model as a coding assistance tool. Whether you can use that and apply it in the real environment or not. And for every large language model, you have to try it before trying to apply that. So I will see you guys in the next videos and talk to you soon. Bye.